Cool. Well, it's great to meet you, and I'm looking forward to getting into your life as a Shopify expert. But before we do that, I want to know, four years ago, we were all wrapping our heads around the pandemic, and it affected different parts of the globe differently. I know Australia was different than, than the way we did things. How did you survive that time period, and how did it change you? Um, the, the pandemic was weird because I, I felt really weird because the pandemic exploded my business. So it felt weird to actually say, oh, things are great when everyone's like, oh, this is bad sort of thing. Yeah. And then I don't know if you heard, but one of the states in Australia was one of the most locked down, uh, places in the whole world. Uh -huh. So heaps of my staff actually come from that state. So I actually... I think a lot of people were moving into like freelancing in that state. So I actually got a few staff from that state in the pandemic, which I thought was interesting because they were locked down for ages. But yeah, basically when the pandemic hit, I had two clients. One of them lost everything, their house, everything like that. And the other one become a millionaire. So imagine importing face masks before the pandemic, before you didn't know about the pandemic. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a bit crazy, yeah. So let me ask you this. Let me get to the heart and soul of what you do do on a daily basis as a Shopify expert. I'm going to put you in front of a bunch of grade school kids, third graders. It's career day, and one of the kids says, hey, what do you do for a living? How do you answer that child? Um, Never thought about it like that, but I listened to another podcast, so I started to think about it. Um, I would say, you know, on your parents' mobile phone or their computer, how they go on websites on the internet. Well, we actually make them. So when you go to buy something on the internet, uh, we build websites that you can actually go purchase like a toy or a, a transformer or a book or something um, off the internet. So that's what we do. We build websites like that. So when you were in that position as a grade school kid at career day, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a doctor until I realized that I hate blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Let's go back. How did this begin for you? How did getting into technology and, you know, eventually getting to Shopify, how did all of this begin for you? Well, I always like to think of it as it all started in high school. One moment changed my whole life. I went to get a, a can of drink out of the drink machine. I put my money in and seven cans fell out and I sold all seven cans in five minutes. <laughs> and something in my brain changed where I thought I could sit next to the drink machine um, and sell drinks to people. So I actually made tens of thousands of dollars selling drinks at my high school. Uh, then for a few years after high school, I, um, I went and worked in the real world then I started a business selling trading cards. So probably where you're, you're from, trading cards is pretty big. Yeah. Um, but I've actually sold about a million dollars worth of trading cards. So I started a business doing that. Um, and then in 2014, I, I decided that um, I needed a website. Um, the people who had been winning in that, in a lot of things had had a website by 2014. So I decided I'm going to get a website. Um, I couldn't afford, or well, I could afford the quotes that people were say, sending to me, but I made a decision. Do I buy more stock or do I learn how to build the website myself? Um, so I decided I'm going to learn how to build the website myself. There was a lot of trial and error for the first six to six months to 24 months. Um, I ranked page number one, result number one on Google for over a thousand searches. So I sort of got SEO. I, I learned how to do SEO and stuff. Um, I had a really good job and I had this business on the side and I was not happy. I wasn't, I was, I was pretty depressed and down. And I thought, what can I do with my life? What do I like doing? And I started to analyze what I like about the things I was doing in my life. And I realized that I really like building the website. So I was like, can I make a business building websites? And I was like, yeah, I can do it. So I just resigned from my job um, just without no clients or anything. Uh, the first year I hardly made any money. Like I went through most of my savings and stuff, nearly went bankrupt, nearly lost my house, everything like that. Uh, one day I decided no matter what, I'm going to make this business work. 
and it doesn't matter what happens. And basically that night I got my best client. The next day I got a better client. Not long after Shopify made me a registered and authenticated Shopify expert. A few people left video reviews for me. Um, then not too far after that, that's when the pandemic hit, which exploded my business again. So for example, I was getting 5,000 plus leads every month because of the pandemic. Um, and then fast forward, I've been in business five and a half years now, and we've generated tens of millions of dollars in extra re revenue for our clients. So to think that I was like basically a day away from giving up and, and going and get a job. And all these years later now, we've changed people's lives all around the world in Australia, New Zealand, uh, US, Canada, UK, and now Dubai. So, Wow. So who has been an entrepreneur that you've admired? Somebody's success story that you've looked up to? Um, definitely Sam Ovens. I think until, do you know who Sam Ovens is? I've heard the name. Yeah. So he, um, he's had lots of different businesses. He's, he's made software. He's had a consulting business. He now run, he made a platform called school where people can have a community and online program and stuff. Um, up until like 2018, I think I'd never like really done any courses or had any mentors or anything like that. I just winged it basically. And I ran into an ad and I did his program and um, it completely changed my life sort of thing. So it just changed my mindset. There was a lot of mindset stuff. Uh, one of the big issues in my, in my business has been uh, challenges with mindset and stuff. And it just changed the way I think. And yeah, just from there, I just realized the funny thing about how he sparked things is that he's really big on reading books, right? And I'd only read one book in my whole life. And I thought five years ago, I was having trouble with my relationships and I read this book and it helped me in relationships. And then when he was saying stuff about books, I was like, I wonder if I read books, if I'd get good at business. So I read, I bought like a hundred books and I read about 70 books. And so a combination of doing his program, doing other people's programs, reading books and stuff sort of led me here sort of thing. So yeah, definitely books and, and Sam Ovens helped me a lot. So what is your, what is the inspiration ultimately every, every day for you to get up and to do this work that you do? You're helping a lot of people. You're, you're creating a lot of good for your, your customers and you need to evolve also as a person. What is that motivation for you every day? I've thought about this a lot and <clears throat> I, I thought for a long time, well, it is like this. My business is called inspire small business. So I wanted to inspire other people to do awesome things right so go after their dreams in their business and stuff like that and i really thought about all the businesses that i've had and basically every single business i've had it's basically been helping an older version of myself so when i had the drink business at school i was probably one of the poorest kids in the whole school had no money so it was sort of like that business was helping me to have money right then when i started the card business um i i really was passionate about collecting cards and then i thought oh, i'll sell these so i can get my own collection for free so i was sort of helping myself um and then when i started my agency building websites it was basically helping the 2014 version of myself that didn't know how to build a website so when i started this this business it was all about like i guess if you think about it in a weird way it was like trying to help myself five years earlier and then now I have another business where we have a free community that on school group where we help agency owners um, with sales and marketing and all that sort of stuff. So basically right now, I'm also helping probably the five year ago version of myself. So everything's basically been helping the older version of myself, I think. So yeah. I, I, that just sounds like pure evolution. I get it, you know, and I deal in technology too. So you're always picking up that older version and learning something new. Um, are you are you more or less kind of a self-made, self-learned kind of person? You, you do all this on your own? Yeah, I've learned a lot of stuff. Uh, YouTube's been really big. Um, I think ever since I was a kid, I found a book about chess in the garage once. So it goes back to when I was probably really young. I found a book about chess. I taught myself chess and then I ended up being the best chess player in my whole school. 
by reading a book and just teaching myself and learning from trial and error. So yes, I probably thinking about it, I probably have been like that my whole life. So where did that come from? Go back to your childhood, the beginnings. How do you think that those seeds were planted into you to be that kind of person? Um, I think maybe because I'm extremely deep down, a lot of people might not realize this, but I'm an extremely introverted person. So I think maybe when I was a child, it was more like I was scared to ask people or anything. So I'll just go learn it myself. Um, yeah, basically like deep down, there's a version of me that's extremely introverted. It's almost like I created this person that's put a leash around my, my neck. And he's like, come on, let's go. We can talk in front of a thousand people. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, probably deep down, it's just an introverted person that didn't want to ask questions and just learn it themselves. So I'm all, I, I'm interested. I grew up collecting cards and it's been a part of my life. My son collects them. What was the most expensive or coveted card that you had that you sold? So in Australia, it's not as crazy as over there, but the the biggest one I I got was nineteen hundred and fifty dollars. I sold it for. Oh. So the US, that's probably like twelve hundred or something like that USD. Yeah. What card and was it? I, it was like a you probably don't know, but rugby league. Um, Andrew Johns. It was only like he's one of okay. the best players to ever play rugby league, and there was only forty of them ever made, and then. I sold a set of cards for $12,000 as well. So they're the two biggest things. So the biggest set I ever sold was 12,000 and the biggest single card was 1,950. Um, but yeah, over in the US, they're like tens of thousands of dollars you can get for some of the cards. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be interested now. We hit, we, uh, the Kansas city chiefs just signed a rugby player and he's, oh, never, yeah. he's never played football before. Um, I yeah. can't remember his name. But yeah, they scouted him. He's one of the best and they brought him in and he's going to play football this year. So we'll see how that works out. That could be another coveted card. Yeah, I um the one good thing. So another player actually went to the US a few years ago. I don't know if you remember Jared Hayne. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I had like heaps of cards listed on my website for Jared Hayne and like heaps of people in the US were buying off my website. And then I actually bought heaps of his cards, NFL cards from the US and got them all shipped to Australia. And like, yeah, Australia is crazy. Like the way we buy things is like different to you guys. So for example, um, it doesn't matter as much the player, but if the card's rare, so if there's only like 10 or 20 of them um, and it's their team, people will still spend like thousands of dollars, even if it's like a no name person or like they'll spend hundreds of dollars sort of thing. So I actually got heaps of his cards for like 10, 15 bucks and was selling them for like two or $300 each year. So I basically bought all the whole market in the US. Like I try to buy everything. Wow. Yeah. Man. So what's the, what's the future look like for you? What's your, what, what's your plan? Do you, I mean, are, are you looking to diversify and go into different uh, ventures? What, what's the plan for you? So I still want to, uh, at the moment, we're still building websites. My agency is still going sort of thing. And I'm just doing uh, this free program on the side, helping agency owners and stuff like that. I think um, my future plan is that I'll continue to run my agency building websites. And mostly I'll just do the sales side of thing. And then all my staff will build the websites, things like that. And I'll just see what happens with this, this side thing. So I've actually been really passionate about it. Um, you know, I was on a call with a young kid, like 21 and he's like, you know, on sales calls, like big companies. And I'm like, just inspiring him to like, and you could see it in his face, like me just being encouraging and giving him tips and stuff. And it put a lot of joy in my, in, into me, I think. So it's like, uh, I just want to feel like good about helping other people. I actually also studied to be a counselor. So I'm actually one module away from being a counselor. So I think it's like, a, I sort of wanted to be a counselor. I wanted to be business. It's sort of like a mash of both things all together. So it's like pretty rewarding when I get to use some of the skills I learned there and then so all my business knowledge. So yeah, I really like that. Yeah. Just so want to inspire other people basically. Yeah, for sure. So you, you've done so many things and evolved and learned all these things, but of everything you've done, what are you the proudest of? Oh, 
believing in myself when when not many people would or or people told me that I that I was crazy or like this wouldn't work like um, backing myself and believing in myself I've done heaps of great things for other people but I think when it comes down to it if you don't push yourself and you don't back yourself how are you going to help those other people so I'm proud that I um I used to be extremely introverted I used to never talk to anyone I can now stand up in front of hundreds of people I if I if I put my mind to something I always say pretty much anything's possible when you put your mind to it what are you going to put your mind to um so I'm proud that when I put my mind to something it, it's done so, so- so at the end of the day, everyone has a perception of you, your family, your friends, your clients, but you run the show. What's your perception of you? Who do you think you are? Uh, I think deep down, I'm like kind, good heart, try to do the right thing. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I think I am like an inspiration to some people. Like, So I've been thinking about it a lot lately sort of thing. So yeah, yeah, I think that's just me. I'm just... Uh, I just chill person I do my things my way and just go for it sort of thing so let me ask you this if we get off this call and a time machine pulls up in front of your house you can go back in time and see one event in human history or you can jump forward and see the future where would you go I want to go see how the pyramids were made yeah (laughs) yeah yeah was um yeah I, I who knows like i don't know but um the way i look at the past is that if you play chinese whispers with someone with like 20 people by the end of by the time the 20th person gets it the the thing the story is going to be different so yeah. imagine like hundreds and thousands of years of like chinese whispers like it could be nothing we could even imagine back then sort of thing yeah for sure So if anyone wants to reach out, learn more about what you're doing, hire you, any of the good business, where can people go? Uh, So just Google Inspire Small Business or inspiresmallbusiness.com. And I have a YouTube channel called Clayton Bates, Shopify Expert. And my community is on school. You just have to search Inspire Agency Owners. So that's how you find me. Okay. Clayton, thank you, sir. Thank you for your story. Thank you for your time. Keep doing the good work. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Take care.